Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie. I post a lot of beauty related content here on my channel. So I'm just checking the mics on because I have a, a long history of not turning it on at the moment. Um, and we are doing another Colourpop video. So today's video, we're using the Stone Cold palette and we're actually collabing with Jess because she has this palette too. So she will be using her one for her look and you know the drill guys, go and follow her, go and subscribe, go and check her out because she has amazing, amazing talent. Um, and she's just a really, we, we talk for so long, like um, she's just a really nice person altogether. Like I, yeah. Um, this week is full of collabs, I'm telling you, I think I've got like three or four planned. But if I'm doing the same video as someone, why not collab and show off their channel? That's what I feel like, I will do that for anybody. Um, and so this is what the palette looks like. It's gorgeous. It's one of their bigger palettes and it's more cool toned palette like grey grungy type palette and I proper love this. Um, there's no mirror in it or anything. I think these retail for like $34 which is like 25 quid for all of these. There's like 30 shades in here as well. Okay the first thing I want to do is put a bit of base down. Um, I don't feel like swatching this. I feel like there's a lot in this palette to swatch so I'm not gonna swatch it ah she went straight on the sofa she knows I've put a little blanket on there and everything for her don't eat anything just sit there and relax so yeah let me put a bit of base down and we will get straight into this tutorial okay this is a massive palette and I feel like I just want to go pink again I've really been loving pink so Let's start off with Stranger, which is this shade here in my crease. I love Colourpop palettes because they're just so nice and weighted. This isn't a shade that will proper show up as well. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but it's quite a nice colour. A lot of fallout here. Then I'm going to go in a little bit darker with this shade here called Quarry Days. Right there, just a little bit darker. No, I love, there's no glitters in this palette. Blending out seamlessly. You know, Colourpop really does. I've even got the Bare Necessities palette as well. Now I want to go in with Gravity Hill. Ooh, I definitely know where I'm going with this palette now. Then I want to go in with this shade here, which is called Obsidian. It's a really nice, like, dark burgundy pink shade. I need a smaller brush for that because I want to keep it in one area, which is the outer corner. Pretty, pretty loving this, guys. You know what I love is there is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten ish shimmers. I say ten ish because this one looks more matte but with a little bit of glitter in there. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. But yeah. So, for my lid. Do we go silver? Do we go pink? Let's go silver. And let's go in with the shade Magnetic Moon. Which is right here. You know what? Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. God, that looks like you'll be reflected from outer space. Wow. That formula is incredible. Wow. My God, it is crazy. Like one little dip into the palette and you've nearly done your whole lid. You don't even need to cut your crease. This is insane. I'm just going to blend out the edges. And blend out the crease. Whoa. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning. My God. I'm in love with this look. Proper in love. Like, wow. For my base, I'm going to use the Unicorn Elixir by Barry M. It's so good. Bit of my L'Oreal True Match. I'm going to put some concealer on. I'm going to put some powder and come back 
and do a little bit more base with you guys. Did my eyebrows, done my lips, and for my lips I used the Femme Gloss from the Barium Lip Kit and I used the So Chic Lip Liner from a Lip Kit too. Now I'm looking quite ghostly because I have no powder on, so we're gonna change that. Guys, I can finally start using my Hoola. Thank you, Jody. I'm gonna start finishing off the Hoola that I have left and then I can start that new one. I'm so excited for this. I haven't used Hoola in the longest time, probably since the original lockdown. It is just the best bronzer shade for my skin tone, the best. Now for blush, I have the Velvet um, Eyeshadow Palette sitting in front of me by Barry M and I haven't actually tried this blush yet so might as well. I like that blush. And then, and then, and then, we cannot do a Colourpop video without my Wisp highlighter. I'm sorry, we just can't, can we? No, no, we can't. Now let's complete the eyes, and you know I don't do much under the eyes, but how about we go in with this dark brown called Drama Mama and really deepen and smoke it out a little bit because that silver, whoo, whoo. And then for inner corner highlight, the only thing I can think of to do is a gold called I Dig It. I really love the names in this palette. I love contrasting golds and silvers. I actually like this, really do. I'm probably gonna try and stick a bit of false lashes on without wing liner, maybe just a little bit of black over the top line, just a little bit, and then I'll come back with my finished look. Well guys, what are we thinking? I am in love, absolutely in love. I've actually got Me Roxy lashes on. I'm so happy with these lashes, like, I can't believe I'm actually managing to put lashes on nowadays. I am incredibly happy with this palette. You need to go and check out Jess's video because I'm sure she's done a stunning look. This palette is amazing. There's just so many mattes and so many different variations you can do in here. You can obviously go very grungy with greys. You can go very pink with the pinks in here. Very fluttery, very girly. Um, and I love like there's a black in there, there's a dark brown, there's a burgundy, like there's so many combinations you can do with this palette and it's very worth the money. Don't get me wrong, I think the It's Taupe palette, you can definitely get like a similar look to this with that palette, but this palette has my heart, I really love it. And you know, I love the weight of Col Colourpop, like it actually feels like there's a reason you're paying £25 for a palette like this and me I didn't pay £25 because there was 30% or a 25% discount on the website which obviously means I probably paid like more between 18 to 20 quid maybe even less which is incredible overall I'm very very happy with this look love the palette love the shimmers I'm loving the fact that there's no glitters in there because sometimes I feel like you don't always need a glitter and if you've got other palettes or you've got glitters in your collection, then perfect. And this is definitely a palette for you cool tone people out there. So go and check Jess's video out. I'll be making sure, tell her I sent you, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash a huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribing. I'm so close to 1K, I'm not gonna stop saying it. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.